Hi. Uh, yes, I know that's a blank wall back there, but I moved Rebbe into the living room where we could be more sociable with him. But I have plans for that wall, so tune in later. For many, many years, I've had a misunderstanding. I don't know if I just didn't study hard enough or if I had just made up a pretty story in my mind because it pleased me. At any rate, I recently got even more confused when I entered this name in YouTube and got several more versions to further confuse me. This is one of those things that the Bible is not completely clear on, so some of my story may be true and other not. I've always been fascinated with Mary Magdalene. There were many Marys in the Bible to be admired, but this particular Mary caught my attention a long time ago. Here's what I thought, right or wrong. I must have been told this story and believed it. Mary was either born into money or she amassed a fortune on her own, or maybe both. Some say she was spoiled by her family, while others say she had to make that fortune on her own. I recently read a book called At Jesus' Feet by Doug Batchelor. When I saw that title, I immediately thought about that particular Mary who on more than one occasion washed the feet of Jesus and dried those precious feet with her long hair. Another Mary story is the story of the woman caught in adultery and taken before Jesus for sentencing, which at that time would have been stoning. Remember what happened? Those famous words, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. When Mary looked up, everyone was gone except Jesus, who, among other things, said, go and sin no more. So those who thought they could trap Jesus into assuming to dictate law were very disappointed. My understanding is that Mary of Magdala, or Mary Magdalene, was one of the many men and women who followed the disciples on their journey. And some have even said that she was actually considered to be the first female disciple. At any rate, she was a huge figure in the New Testament. Where else may we have seen her? Well, what about the scene at Lazarus' home when his sisters Mary and Martha were in a discussion about who was taking care of their guest, Jesus, in the best way? Of course, Martha was the chief cook and bottle washer. Well, Mary sat at his feet and listened to his words of wisdom. Was that the same Mary who was caught in adultery? My understanding is that she was, indeed, the sister of Lazarus. Even more exciting for me is the story of this same Mary at the crucifixion. There were many there, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, but he only appeared to one of them after he left the tomb. That was Mary of Magdala, also known as Mary of Bethany. The very same Mary we've been talking about even though she did not know who she was talking with at the tomb, when she was made aware, Jesus sent her to tell the disciples that he was going to heaven right then. So he admonished her, don't touch me yet. And several days later, he did appear to the disciples and fulfill his promise. So you see, for these reasons and more, I'm really looking forward to talking with this woman when we get to heaven. Her biblical story has fascinated me for many years, and I want to sit face to face and hear the rest of the story. How about you?